Hi everybody, Levi Clay here and I'm back again for another vlog. This time being accompanied by this little one, Brova. He can see himself on the screen. Ah, if you are watching this video and you like this ugly little thing, then please do hit that like button because it helps this video reach more people. And most importantly, hit that subscribe button because that means that you'll always see more content. So, why are you leaving YouTube? Why are you leaving YouTube? Let's think about that for a second. I'm not leaving YouTube. <laughs> Don't worry about that. I have far too much fun on YouTube to ever leave. But in recent months, weeks, and even years, I've seen friends, colleagues, peers, people that I admire fall away from YouTube. And not just YouTube in particular, but social media in general. They're pulling away from Instagram or from Facebook or from all of these places that they've previously marketed themselves. And I think that's a huge, huge shame, and it's something I felt needed addressing. For one simple reason. The music that you make, and the content that you make, you should never be done for other people. It's as simple as that. I make these videos because I enjoy making videos. Now, my channel, at this stage, has just shy of 3,000 subscribers. Isn't that right, Brover? Just shy of 3,000 subscribers. And it's amazing that I've gone up to that. But my videos still get no views in the grand scheme of things. I upload vlogs, and if I break a 1,000 views over the course of a couple of months, that's something to be really happy about. In the grand scheme of things, not worth it, is it? It's just not worth it. Ad revenue on YouTube is minimal. I make maybe £25 a month. Like... It's not worth it, the amount of time that I put into it. But it's totally worth it. If only because I enjoy doing it, but more importantly, because pulling away from YouTube because 300 people watched my last video is kind of an insult to those 300 people. Think about that. I want my videos to be seen by tens of thousands of people. That would be wonderful. I would really like and appreciate that. But it's not happening. It's not a reason for me to pull away from YouTube though because if I make a video and 10 people watch it, if one person watches it and that one person enjoys that content, then it's already more than I could have ever hoped for just sitting around in my room and playing guitar. You know, I make these videos because I enjoy making them, but if they impact just one person, just one person, then for me, it was worth it. So if you're out there and you've got a YouTube channel and you're making content and people aren't seeing your videos, don't let that dishearten you. That doesn't matter, at least it doesn't to me. What's important is keep creating that content for the people that love your channel because when people can sense that authenticity about what you're doing, more people will discover what you're doing. I'm authentic in my content. Everything I make is from the heart. It's something I'm passionate about. I rip into people. I make funny videos, or at least videos I think are funny. <laughs> I do transcription videos, lessons, all of those things. And I do them because that's the content I want to make. And if I find these small audiences that are willing to support me and follow what I do, then that's awesome. Now, really, what we're talking about here is a much, much deeper issue. We're talking about mental health. Um, mental health problems are nothing to be stigmatized, nothing to be ashamed of. I suffer from my fair share of um, mental health problems. They run in my family, um, and sometimes they it can be pretty crippling. Uh, a psychiatrist, psychologist, therapist, counselor, who knows, might analyze the way I portray myself online as being a, uh, a way of covering up deeper issues and I'm not ashamed to admit that I'm not ashamed to say these things I think it's important that we talk about these things though I think it's important that we look out for each other because it's not too difficult to see the ramifications of these things in the day-to-day -day, uh, news stories that you see about musicians uh, we lost Jason Spell a few months back Jason uh, was a, a f well I shouldn't say a very close friend but we talked regularly regularly um, and I knew Jason was down and I talked to him about that in the past uh, a few times actually 
I'd reach out to him. I, first, I saw that he seemed stressed out online and would just, you know, shoot the shit because I understand what it's like to feel like that. And on the day Jason unfortunately took his life, I saw that he was in a bad place and I thought to myself, I'll shoot him a message later. And uh, unfortunately, I was too late. And that's an awful, awful feeling. I understand it's not my fault, um, but it's hard to not feel bad for that. Uh, we can do more of that. We can reach out to people and just let people know, people who are having a hard time, let them know that we're there. We saw it with Chris Cornell just recently. Uh, and it's tragic. Real tragic. It's... It, it, it just kind of leaves you speechless. What I'm really getting at, though, is it's easy to kind of slip into that dark place where you let the fact that you're not as big and popular as you really want to be change the way that you see the people around you and see the people that do follow you. All I'm saying to you people out there that are considering moving away from YouTube or giving up on, on music, remember why you picked up that instrument in the first place. You like that? <laughs> you picked up that instrument to to play music, to entertain yourself, maybe to be famous. But if you got into it for that reason, then I'm surprised that you're still kicking around in the industry after all this time. A sincerity and integrity goes a long way. Never ever lose sight of those people that support you from the grassroots, the 300 people that are watching your videos, because you make a difference in their lives and when you focus on that fact you should never ever want to stop making videos making cool videos for people is awesome helping people and encouraging people is awesome and if you end up like Alan Holdsworth um, who dies kind of uh, not misunderstood but you know beyond his time <laughs> um, then that's kind of just the way it is be sincere make cool content make cool music, whatever it is you want to do, keep doing it. And most importantly, if you're having trouble, talk to people. Talk to me. I'm not a counsellor, but <laughs> if you ever need to talk to me, pretty much always here. <laughs> um, or speak to a professional, or speak to a loved one, because you're very, very rarely alone, and it's incredibly easy to feel like and think and feel that you are alone. I feel it sometimes, and talking to people is the best way around that. Oh, that's a deep and heavy one. Just think about it though. Why are you leaving YouTube? You matter you're an, and you're important to people. You make cool content and uh, people like what you do. Keep doing it, even if it's just a few people. <sighs> that was a heavy one. What do you think? Yeah, me too. Um, as you can see, I have filmed this video in my new format using the webcam and live streamy type thing rather than the pro shot thing. And I'd love to know your thoughts on that. Usually my vlogs are always pro shot on a camera. The reason I've not done that this time is because I want to do experiment and get feedback from people. Doing things this way is considerably quicker and considerably easier to put these things together. And when you're as busy as I am, it's that feeling of this will be quick and easy is a great feeling. <laughs> Being able to just hit go on the camera rather than setting up lights and setting up a camera and getting a good angle and getting everything into focus and plan planning a script and then editing videos and <laughs> takes a lot of time. Uh, but uh, like I say, I'm really interested in what you guys think. So drop me a comment below um, if you think this new format is kind of detrimental to the vlogs. Lastly, on the note of people that appreciate the work that you make and the work that uh, I'm putting together. These wonderful people here are all supporters of mine over on patreon.com and I want to extend a huge thanks to those names up there. These guys all support me over at Patreon for a $10 or more tier um, and makes a huge difference in my day-to-day -day life. Uh, life would probably be a lot darker if it wasn't for excellent people like this who help me keep going. Uh, so massive thanks to you guys. If you would like to check me out on Patreon, that's cool. You can do that and support me for as little as a dollar. Get loads of cool stuff in return. Access to uh, a private Facebook group and transcription challenges and all manner of cool things that essentially give you something in return for supporting the content that you enjoy. Alternatively, you can, well, you can click the Patreon button up there. You can just subscribe to this channel there by clicking that button down there. That really helps. And of course, check out two more of my videos. 
watching more of my videos and sharing videos with friends is a fantastic way of supporting this channel too so don't feel that that's not appreciated if you are doing that peace out guys it's been my pleasure to serve and entertain and if you're having problems talk to someone because we all need a friend sometimes bye